Sunday. Oh, just got off of work. Uh, today is definitely going to be a nap day. I did not sleep great last night at all. Also, wanted to show you guys something. My friend Jeremy, you guys probably remember him from the last two vlogs. He brought me something kind of cool yesterday. He brought me some new rings for my keys, but they're black. There's two of them. One right there, one right there. It's pretty cool. I know that seems really stupid, but I got really excited about it. Quit, you guys. This bed is not big enough for the both of you. One of you stay in and one of you get out. I'll never understand why these cats don't just get along. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You're making things complicated. This is, this is all the time, at all times, that. Hey, quit. All right, it's 1.32. I'm gonna go ahead and take my nap now. I'll see you in a, in, I'll see you in a little while. That's a mile. Stop to drink my water. My leg doesn't hurt as bad as it's been hurting, so that's good. I did, however, wake up from my nap, eat a couple pieces of pizza, then start this run. I don't think I'm gonna be sick. That was 1.75 miles. So just a tiny bit shorter than yesterday's, but, but I'm trying to keep these runs here lately at a significantly shorter distance at least until the pain can subside enough that i can i feel comfortable i don't want to risk an injury i've heard too many injury horror stories okay i need a shower so uh, i want to talk about these shoes i mentioned like when I first got the shoes that I might do a, a kind of almost review of them. Although I didn't get the shoes for free from Brooks. They're not paying me to say any of this. I'm just, this is just a, a re generalized review of the Brooks Pure Flow 7 running shoe. First things first, it's a super comfortable shoe. Like that's, that's probably the first and most important thing that pretty much anybody cares about. It is a very comfortable shoe. It's really light. It's got a lot of flexibility to it. When I first got them, they were a little on the rigid side, but they've since worn in a pretty good bit. And yeah, they're, they're very comfortable to wear, to walk, as far as I'm concerned, to run in. However, I am mildly concerned that the pain that I've been feeling is caused by the new shoes. I was messaging with uh, my friend Derek earlier this afternoon about this. He was kind of saying the same thing. You know, if you're feeling a lot of pain, what have you changed? The, the big thing that I've changed is my shoes. So if my shoes have changed and I started feeling pain around the time that my shoes changed, I mean, it, it, would, it would stand to reason that maybe it's the shoes. Here's where things get a little dicey. I don't know if the pain that I'm feeling is caused by the shoes being uncomfortable or putting unnecessary tension on my shins or if it's that these shoes are causing me to use certain muscles in my legs that I've never used before and those just need a little bit of time to kind of break in if you will. But back to the shoes, when I first got them they were pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I got the green and blue version. I typically would go for like black or gray but I got the green and blue because Oftentimes I find myself running in the afternoons. I find myself running after the sun has gone down and anything I can do to make myself more visible in those scenarios is a good thing. Honestly, I mean, that's that's pretty much the, the general synopsis of the shoes. I'm liking my new shoes pretty good. I just want this pain in my shins to go away so I can actually start running long distances like I was, you know, two weeks ago. Alrighty, uh, I think I'm gonna call the vlog here. Kaylee and I have a really quick errand we've gotta run and then we're actually going to make dinner and try to relax this evening. It's been a pretty lazy Sunday. I mean, I came home from work, took a nap, went for a run, and now I'm here. We're gonna call the vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome, every single one of you. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of those fun things. And I plan to see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'll be here. See you there.